have Roger Taylor with us. We have genuine rock royalty. Uh, we actually got lots of royalty here. We have Tatum O'Neill, oh. who I think is still the youngest ever person to win an Oscar. At the age of still, yes. Your... still. still. Yes. Uh, which yeah. is pretty incredible. And Mel B, who's is... about to win an Oscar any, any year now. <laughs> there you go. I'm ready. I'm ready for and it. And Roger Taylor, who's just come fresh from opening the Oscars. Now, Roger, yeah. for you, two things, really. One tonight, Bohemian Rhapsody, obviously, best actor goes to the guy who played Freddie Mercury in yeah. the movie. Right. But you guys, on the back of that, got to open the Oscars. Now, even for Queen, one of the great <laughs> rock bands of the last <laughs> three, four decades, what was that like for you? Well, it was great. Uh, it was interesting. It was, we were swimming out of our own pond. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, it was just, yeah, open the Oscars. That's something you never thought you'd do. Were you nervous? No. Did you get nervous? nervous? To be honest, no. Rami won the Oscar. Incredible. Just brilliant. He's floating on air. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's been a great night. There's also a lovely love story there, isn't there? Because he fell in love with Lucy Boynton, who played... You're right. ..Mary, yeah. who mm -hmm. fell in love with Freddie, and... He gave her a huge You're right. You're the kiss. first person to really pick up on that. I found yeah. watching the movie, which I absolutely loved. I watched it about a week ago, and I really loved it. it for me, as a fan, a great Queen fan, it just he became Freddie Mercury oh, to me. When but he as a fan, but for, for you, where it wasn't just Freddie, obviously the, the singer, but your great friend. How close did he get? Do you think to the real thing? He got really close spiritually. Uh, uh, he really had it in the eyes and everything. It's, he was different body, his, you know, uh, he, he wasn't as quite as, as, as uh, what, what do you, I don't know the word, but uh, he, he was different. physically mm. different to Freddie. Yeah, um, maybe less in But he was in, incredible in the role, mm. yeah, he, and that intensity. And I think the film, uh, you know, aside from the, some of the critics, uh, you know, uh, who have seem to have lost the magic of film. Well, they wanted it to be. I kept reading it should have been grittier. It should have been, you know, slightly darker. darker yeah. And I, when I watched it, I was like, why would you want it to be dark? Why can't it be a yeah. celebration of an extraordinary life? Well, I'd want to be touched and uplifted. Right. And uh, hopefully that's what it did. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you don't want to. Uh, it, I, it, we didn't shy away from anything, mm. really, in the movie. It's also, Roger, I don't want to be um, grubby about this, but it's made a stinking amount of money. <laughs> Are you boys all uh, Look, I mean, taking big suitcases you, you home with it? I, I, I have yet to see a check. <laughs> <laughs> performance point of view of all the performances tonight. Queen, Lady Gaga, obviously, with Bradley Cooper was a big moment. I mean, I did say that I wanted more pizzazz, but you can't get away from the opening of the Oscars being what it is. It is pressure there's a lot of people eyeballs on it and adam lambert the whole thing mm. did do great i just wanted more pizzazz i'm sorry Am did I you to say that? From the show in general wow. Wow. just from great. the opening number oh blimey oh, oh, blimey. Here. i'm oh. sorry please don't walk no don't walk. <laughs> it's just me because i like glitz and glamour yeah. <laughs> yeah. glitz and glamour you know me yeah, uh, yeah. Adam uh, Lambert yeah. is just not glitzy enough. That's oh, what you're he saying. Is. No, oh, he is. Oh. I'm talking I'll tell about you what he's got. he's got. He's got an amazing voice. He's got a $10,000 jacket. <laughs> yeah, and if that's not glitzy enough... <laughs> and some pretty earrings. Um, tell you, you won an Oscar when you were 10 years old. I what was that, what is that like? like? I got to think Do you remember back. it properly? Yeah. Because that's the first... It's like one of the... Th it's like the fourth award, I think. Mm. So I do remember, uh, you know, it was a long time after I won the award that we had to go home. Oh, uh, you were just tired, because you were 10. I was time. 10, yes. Yeah. It was also the year of the streaker. Yeah. So um, that was kind of amazing. Cool. I have an 11-year-old, and she's pretty moody half the time. So were you, what kind of kid were you, and how did that impact well, you tired. as a kid? <laughs> period. Um... I, I was living with Ryan O'Neill, and we were doing a different kind of father-daughter arrangement than anybody I, I had seen. It was, it was uh, it's sort of like, I mean, it was beautiful and amazing to win it, but I don't think that it, it and it has been all my life uh, as an adult, but I don't think that I... I had been to the to the Sicily. Uh, Don, I'd won the Donatello. I'd won the Golden Globe. Would you Would you want to go through it all again? Because there's always this debate about child stars whether really the sacrifice you make is never completely outweighed by the success. I would do it. I would do exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I, I would, I'm not somebody that goes into regret and stuff like that. I think that I t couldn't have understood what it means to win an Oscar. Of course, it right. You know, uh, that, that yeah. actors and actresses wait their whole uh, career yes. to win something like that. But I was certainly honored and, and uh, recently ran into Linda Blair, who I was up against, and Handy Clark, who I was up against. And uh, Candy said to me, and the winner is. <laughs> And it took me a minute, and I was like, oh, my God. Jesus, Candy, I was 10. What, you mean that there was bitterness there? I thought so, maybe, but she maybe said she was joking. I don't know.